Hey, it is Kyle with this week's episode of Illinois. I'm sorry I'm not my usual jovial self. I just was driving by Donnie B's Comedy Club and discovered that apparently 99.7 The Mix is having a party without me here. Bonzi is DJing inside. Taylor is in there dancing the night away. And somehow, I wasn't invited. That guy was invited. I don't even know who the heck that is. But I wasn't. So I want answers. And we're going to figure it out tonight. I'm mad. So we are here right beside Donny B, the man whose name is literally on the building, a longtime friend of 99.7 The Mix. I'm sorry, I'm Elvis. Oh, I'm sorry, El Elvis. You dress up as Elvis every single year. 19 years in a row, same suit. I bought it 19 years ago. Well, A, I can tell, and B, you realize that Elvis died in his 40s, right? You're like 68 years old. We are here tonight with the bad guy from the Spider-Man universe or the good guy from the Venom universe. Really, I can't figure out which one. Venom, what's going on, buddy? Hey, we're just trying to all make it happen. We're trying to make it happen. You know what? That's either a Venom costume or Taylor when she does not get enough sleep. I can't figure out which one. Well, you know what? Darling. We are here alongside not just Mrs. Doubtfire, but a very specific scene in Mrs. Doubtfire. Mrs. Doubtfire, what's going on? <sighs> Darling, I've been dancing like a fool. My face is melting. Like a snow cone in Phoenix, right? Oh, hell yes. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Apparently there was a party with the mix. I was specifically told nothing was going on tonight. I walk in, you're dressed like Las Vegas Elvis, for God's sake. Bonzi is on the one and two spinning the records, and Taylor is dancing with a bunch of girls. What's going on? Well, I lost your phone number, I apologize. Uh, but I'll make it up to you next year, I promise. Well, you lost my phone? We literally text at least once a week. I love how you're apparently Mrs. Doubtfire af after some sort of medical episode. Well, you know, you have that. Donnie B, everybody. Thank you very much. He's probably going to die on the toilet, too. Thank you very much. What? I want to run away and fly away. It feels so good. Robinson Chris away. I cast away. I'm in the mood. We are here right now with Mark Pisoni, the owner of Sports and Imports. We've talked about him and his wonderful business on the air many times, but I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, I'm a little upset right now, Mark. Well, I'm, I, I'm sorry. Uh, you know, the last time I saw you, you were in tights. What am I supposed to think what you're going to show up in? I was in tights because I was in a professional wrestling ring. I was fighting people. We don't need to talk about that right now. Obviously, I did very well. Hold on, hold on. You, you showed up anyway. What, what do you mean? Yeah, I showed up. You weren't invited and you showed up. You, you do that at everybody's party? Hey, I'm driving down the road. I'm Kyle Kincaid. I wear tights and a wrestling ring. Okay, that's great. All right. I'm going to go find Bonzi. I'm going to get to the bottom of this. I'm going to lay the smack down on him if I have to. I think that um, obviously that just goes to show that the whole thing was a big misunderstanding. I was actually invited. Uh, I can't believe I doubted it. <laughs> okay, I think the police are coming.
Taylor might have to dress herself up a little bit to get to that. Oh, well, she might have to, but you know what? Check it out. Thank you, my Good friend. Night. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate it. There we go.